Say you've got your logo done and you're ready to share it with the world. Great. PixArt can help you get that done in a snap. Let's dive into proper sizing for your artboard for different applications. How about a t-shirt? Lots of people use their logo for merch. As designers though, let's mock it up first to see exactly how we want things positioned and sized. We'll start this mock-up by clicking on photos and then searching for the type of product you'd like to print on using the commercial license filter. For this, we'll choose a blank white tee. Now let's drop our logo and see where it looks best. It's up to you how you want to customize it. You can play around with it until you land on something you love. Okay, I think this mock-up is ready. To take this to the printer, I'll need to make the logo about four inches wide. Every printer is different though, so make sure to check what your specific dimensions are first. To do this, get rid of the shirt and resize the artboard. Now we'll resize the logo. And if you aren't in the US, we have centimeters and pixels. Okay, now it's time to export and send off to print. So you have your shirt. Maybe now you need a poster. We'll repeat the same steps as before. Resize your artboard, resize and center your logo, and maybe we can add a color background using one of the hues from the color palette. Look how easy that was. Export the file type you need for your specific project, PNG, PDF, JPEG. If you're looking for a transparent background, always go with PNG. For a poster though, JPEG or PDF will work perfectly. Most brands use their logo as their social media profile pic or avatar. All you have to do is take your logo and resize it. The good news is that PixArt has lots of sizing options that take the guesswork out of this process. That's it for today. Good luck with your design and make sure you have fun and whatever you make is unboring with PixArt. Thanks for watching.